a gathering at a cafe in Edinburgh, marks the launch of a report highlighting the impact of loneliness and social isolation in Scottish society. The Scottish Parliament's Equal Opportunities Committee has found that this can no longer be considered just a social misfortune. It says loneliness and isolation causes real health problems, especially among young and older people, and the Scottish Government needs to prioritise it as a public health issue. We actually want the Scottish Government to take on board our report and to look at launching a national campaign to raise awareness of social isolation and loneliness in people and also to remove the stigma attached that people feel about being lonely and isolated. During its inquiry, the committee heard from people experiencing isolation due to a range of factors such as islanders limited by their public transport options or people in busy urban centres who found themselves cut off due to a range of circumstances. I was out uh, quite a lot, every day I used to be out, but then I've had quite a few falls. And that keeps me in sometimes. You know, I'm just, I'm not going to the hospital. Mrs McGregor has the support of neighbours and a local charity, Food Train, which provides practical help for vulnerable people in the form of weekly grocery shops and deliveries but which also ties in with a regular social connection. It was one of the groups the committee heard from about the impact of isolation and possible solutions. Many of the older people we work with have no other support in place and the impact of social isolation on them is immense. Um, the work that Food Train does through an amazing team of volunteers really helps combat that and minimise or, or, or tries to minimise some of those issues. You can find the Equal Opportunities Committee's report on age and social isolation on the Scottish Parliament's website. And you can keep up to date with news and events at the Scottish Parliament through social media.